Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Bree. And I'm Jean. And today we are going to explore, discover, and experience STEAM. For today's activity, we are focusing on engineering. Which is the E in STEAM. Exactly. And today we are going to learn about simple machines, which were engineered to modify motion and force to make work easier. These machines include the wheel and axle, lever, wedge, incline plane, pulley, and the screw. For today, we will be focusing um, on wheel and axle, and we're gonna be making some race cars. It looks like we're gonna be building something fun. I know my grandkids love to do this kind of thing, and I'll bet you, you guys do too. Yeah, it'll be a fun activity for you guys to race your little cars against each other. And we will also be doing incline plane, so we are creating a ramp to race our cars down. Cool. Mm -hmm. So um, don't forget, as you're watching this video, to look out for the following STEAM vocabulary, which are... Simple machines. Wheel and axle. Inclined planes. And friction. You ready, Jean? I'm ready. Let's get started. Great. So the supplies you are going to need, string, four buttons, a straw, clothespin, tape, markers, scissors, cardboard, and a ruler. You are gonna start by decorating the body of your race car, which is going to be this clothespin. I'm gonna go ahead and use blue because that's one of my favorite colors and I'm going to keep it simple. But you guys can use however many colors you want um, and do whatever you want. It's your race car so you guys can be as creative as you wanna be. So, got that done. And now we're gonna go ahead and start our wheel and our axle. So we are gonna start by measuring out two inch piece from our straw. And you're gonna to wanna to do two of these. So I'm just going to do one because I already have one wheel and axle done. So we're just gonna do the second one and then we will be ready to go. So we're just gonna chop that off. So now we have our second one. Move that stuff out of the way. Now we have our two buttons and our string. So Jean taught me a really cool trick. Um, if you put tape on it and fold it and then just cut it so it's at a point, it's going to be a lot easier to thread. So we're gonna go ahead and do it through the straw first. And then we're gonna go ahead and thread it through this. There we go. And so like I said, do it diagonal and then thread it back through the straw. And you guys can do two separate pieces of string. Um, we found that this was just easier and makes less work for you to do. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is thread it through here. And we're gonna have to do the same thing. We're gonna go ahead and cut it. Oops, that's not my scissors. So then that way it's like this. You can go ahead and Thread this string, again, diagonal, and then just tie them off together. And just make sure you do a very good knot so that way it doesn't come loose when you're racing them down the ramp. So, I'm gonna do that one. And then do that one. I think that should be good. And see, you wanna make sure they're pretty close. You don't want any gaps because then they're gonna get kinda wobbly. And then you can just trim the excess. All right, so there we go. So we, now we have our two wheels and axles. And then we're gonna go ahead and put one in between there, kind of center it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the other one right here. And it might get a little squished, that's okay. So we're gonna use some tape to kind of tape it off so that one doesn't fall through. It looks like it's pretty snug. If your straws are a little bit smaller though, it might fall through. So we're just gonna go ahead and wrap some tape around it just to be on the safe side. And if you guys have washi tape, um, you can use that too. Those are fun because they have like different designs on them, but we just have regular masking tape today. So that's what we're gonna use. So use whatever you guys have at home. If it's duct tape or scotch tape, just make sure it's pretty secure. Okay, so that did cover a little bit of my design, but that's okay. You can still see it through. I'm just gonna make sure that is nice and snug. 
So there we go. Now you have your own little race car using the wheel and axle. Okay, so we already set up our incline plane. We're using just um, some poster board and a cardboard box to support it. Um, you guys use whatever you guys have at home. If that's just cardboard boxes or, right, I don't know, <laughs> whatever, whatever you guys have. You. Right. Yeah. And then, um, so now we're just going to go ahead and set them down. And three, three two, two, one, go. Go. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think Jean won, but you guys let us know. So if you guys can, try to make your ramp longer. Yes. Um, so yes. that way you guys have more distance to go, but I think that was pretty fun. And you can try different heights too. Dip yeah. To see how much speed, you know, you get out of your vehicles. Different angles. So, oh, that was really fun though. That was a good one. That was fun and so simple. Yeah, I mean, we had some struggles, but I think it worked out really well. Plus, we learned a lot of new steam vocabulary, which were simple machine. A machine with few or no moving parts that is used to make work easier provides a mechanical advantage. For example, a wedge, wheel and axle, lever, incline plane, screw, or pulley. Wheel and axle, a simple machine that reduces the friction of moving by rolling. A wheel is a disc designed to turn around and axle pass through the center of the wheel. An axle is a supporting cylinder on which a wheel or a set of wheels revolves. Incline plane. A simple machine without moving parts used to increase the height of object made using flat slanted surface such as a ramp. Friction. A resistance of motion that occurs when two surfaces are in contact with each other. Today we explored two of the six simple machines, discovered how they make work easier and fun, yeah, <laughs> experienced a great activity by making race cars and using the wheel and axle and the incline plane for a ramp. Uh, ramp. All right, so don't forget to enter this code at re20az.org to earn points for the summer reading program. And you can email your pictures or videos to library at buckeyeaz.gov and you can earn additional points. All right, and that is all for today. So we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.